It's a hot, lazy summer day, and I'm just hanging out with the guys. They keep asking me, what can we do? What can we do? Hey, I said, guys, I have a great idea. Let's learn about density. They said, that's dumb. When do you ever use density in real life? Okay. After I got over my disappointment, I figured, hey, it's a hot day. Let's just go swimming. So the boys hopped in the pool on my favorite floaty. It wasn't long before I came up with a mischievous idea. It's cannonball time. Well, that should show them to take my floaty. <laughs> I guess me and the boys are gonna take a little time to just swim in the pool. Oh. Rocco! Rocco! Are you all right, bud? Oh, no! Rocco, Rocco. Come on, wake up, buddy. Oh, come on, man. Come on. <gasps> come on, Rocco. Come on, buddy. You can do it. Pull through, baby. We've lost him. Wait a minute. Rocks aren't alive. He can't drown. <laughs> You're right. Rocco's fine. Hey, bud. It's good to have you back. So thank goodness Rocco is okay. But after today's events, he started to wonder, why is it that his buddies could float around on the top of the pool while he, well, sinks like a rock? It looks like Rocco needs to learn a little something about density. Now, before you can understand what density is, you've got to understand that everything around us is made up of little tiny pieces, little particles. It's kind of like we're all made of Legos, super tiny pieces that make up the whole thing. I'm made of particles. Rocco's made of particles. These two are made of particles. We're all made of little tiny particles. And how those particles are put together is what determines the density. Let's take a look at a picture to help us better understand this. So the title of our drawing, of course, is density. First, I'm going to draw Rocco. Now take a look at the particles. These are the little dots that I'm drawing. Rocco has particles that are very close together, and he has a lot of them. Now let's go to Woodley. Woodley also has particles. Take a look at how his particles appear compared to Rocco. They're a little more spread apart. Next we'll do Noodle Man, and what do you think his particles will be arranged like? very far apart. Next, I'm gonna draw something you may not have guessed. I'm gonna draw a container with some water. Yeah, that's right, water is made up of particles too. Everything is made up of particles. And how close or far apart those particles are determines the density. So this might be a good time to pause your video and have a discussion about which of these four types of matter is the most dense and the least dense. What will happen when you put each one in the water? Well, if you look at Rocco, his particles are the most closely packed together. He's the most dense. Since he's more dense than water, he'll sink when you put him in water. Noodle Man is the least dense of these four items. His particles are spread way far apart. When you put him in water, not only does he float, but he floats and barely goes beneath the surface of the water. Then we have Woodley. Woodley's kind of like the medium density. 
he is just a little bit less dense than the water, so he floats, but he kind of floats low in the water. You see, density is how close together or far apart the particles of a substance are. So that's what density is, and that's how density works. Thanks for joining us today, and as always, stay curious, my friends.